Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Gothic. It's been a little while, and I know this episode is going to be late, but uh, we are still going to get the episode done. So let's check the journal. I need a refresher. Water carrier for Lefty, Meh, Shrike's Hut, Lurker at the Dam. Lurker is gnawing at the dam if I manage to stop it. At the secluded side of the reservoir repair the dam as well if I kill the lurker so that's kind of the I don't know what a lurker is I assume it's like those mole rats for thing but that's uh well, it's down by lefty so hopefully he's not still super mad at us and we can just kind of we uh let's see here Oh, that, ooh, that didn't kill me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so it's kind of... Okay, so... Secluded side of the dam. Behind the house, maybe? Okay, how do I... Oh, this is going to take me by lefty again, isn't it? Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna go this way. And we'll see... What's going on. Yeah, this looks damn like to me. But we don't have any... Interactions here. And who knows, maybe this isn't the dam they're talking about. Maybe it's uh, on the north side. Or, well, <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm calling it the north side because I have no frame of reference for what north or south is, but. Presumably, we follow this path. This is definitely a river flow. Now we can check and see if maybe it's. All right, wade through here a little bit. There we go. They're chatting about nothing. All right, let's try to stay on the rocks here. But we'll just follow... Oh. Uh, I'm not quite feeling confident enough to take them on yet. But... I have no problem taking these guys on. Alright, come at me. Oh. Okay, so holding control will kind of lock onto your target. That's interesting. Oh, you're still alive. Fuck, die. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Alright. We shall harvest the meat. I probably should, should be waiting until I get trained in meat harvesting. Or, not meat harvesting, but, um... Oh, what do you call it? Uh, like trophy harvesting, as it were. Let's see, do we have any soup left since that's... This is technically a free unlimited resource, so I want to use this up. Before we use anything else up, we'll... Then have some chicken wings here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, there's a little passage here. Let's see what they were guarding. Absolutely nothing, apparently. That's a little disappointing. Alright. I do think I could take out those mos those uh, mosquito things 
one by one, but a group of three. Like, you can see there, if I mess up with a group of mole rats, I'm almost dead already. Are, oh, those must be goblins. Alright, let's head back. I don't think the dam is this way. But hey, we got some meat. Maybe not worth the the meat we had to use to heal ourselves, but we got some. I suppose, you know, what I could have done is just rested for another day, but... Eh. We had enough sleeping. We slept off those arrows, so... Want to do something else. So let's follow this river the other way. And see if we can find a dam. There. Okay, good. He's not going crazy for once. <laughs> Controlling him while he's swimming is can be very difficult. This is kind of the... Maybe it is the other way. Unless they blocked it further upstream. Let's find out. Hey you! You're in luck. I'll give you a second chance. Try not to mess it up this time. Well, go to the rice lord and then take water to all the peasants. Got it? Yeah, go away. <laughs> well, there's some, uh, a little bit of aliasing there breaking the world, maybe, <laughs> with that white line. But, I mean, this is an old game being up res, so I'm not, I'm not going to get that bent out of shape about it. Yeah, I can't talk to Homer anymore. Okay, uh... There we go. I want to see what this... I think I checked last time if I do want to look again since I kind of have a better idea of how to swim now just to see if there... You know, is there a chest in this... Uh... A chest down here or not. Uh... Not in here. All right, up, up, up. <laughs> emergency, emergency. Whew, that was close. Oh, wow, that takes a long time to refill, okay. Let's give it 30 seconds. Oh, well, maybe not that long, but some length of time, as it were. Okay, so that's where the waterfall comes in. There we go. Alright, uh... No, oh, no, oh, stop. Stop locking on. <laughs> he keeps trying to, like, lock on, and it's really annoying. Almost could make you... Ooh, air pocket. Interesting. Unfortunately... There's nothing here. <laughs> it was a valiant effort. But... Alright, let's check. Let's check further upstream. I I don't know. I feel like he's the dam he's talking about is the one we were standing on, but... Oh, hello. Let us quick save. We'll have the opportunity to... Because I think... Damn, Lurker. Oh, we can't even... <laughs> okay. Well, we found the damn Lurker. 
Unfortunately, we can't even touch it. Because based on the sound, we had two good hits on it. And it's health bar. I mean, I'll try again. Yeah. Oh. Oh, maybe... Is it... We... Based on, like, the sound, we're getting that impact noise. Which makes it sound like we're hitting it, but... Oh, okay, guarding doesn't do anything. <laughs> but I think... I think you might just have a super high physical resistance that we can't... Whee! And I don't think we can break it. We just need to more strength and more uh more one-handed skill i actually don't know if like if we did do like a minuscule point of damage to him or something i don't know if uh he'll heal or not we need to heal now <laughs> we'll sleep until morning again i don't want to waste food on the on what uh I'll sleep on the bed already. There we go. Not willing to waste food on that. We'll just sleep till morning. All right. Let's let's assess our situation. We've got much ore do we have? That's a big thing. 196. We should be able to do something with that. Uh, do we, what do we have for skill points? Uh, we have nine skill points, so yeah, we should be able to get training on how to harvest creatures. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the old camp, because that's where I know we can find the hunters. Who said they would teach us or we could ask um we can find that other guy too there's that guy in the woods and he can teach us as well so we'll see what uh what they have to offer us Whee! and lefty can go suck a dick we'll be back for him <laughs> So, fight between Lefty and Bloodwin, who wins. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a match I'd like to see. Okay, so this might be that first guy's hut. Let's try not to kill too many things on the way there so we can harvest them on the way back. Okay, we're standing on the tree now. No one pursued us. All right, that one is still staring at us, but... Oh, this is not the place I thought it was. Huh. It's like a little fishing hut that uh, has seen better days. But uh, we'll still we'll scavenge around for what we can find. I'd love it. Oh. Okay. That so that happened. <laughs> oh. oh. Like does this thing just not have collision? Okay, we got a little air pocket there okay i guess we're just gonna i guess this this isn't really here <laughs> oh man that's kind of funny oh, what's over there is that a little cave that little cave hidden by bushes with people in it hi what the hell are you doing here Hey, I... 
Okay. I don't know why they're attacking me on sight. Oh, what's that? Oh, nope, they're using bows. Ow. Ow, ow. I, I just wanted to be like, hey, what's up, guys? I didn't want to start a fight. Jeez. Oh, okay. I'm going to de-stress by eating a bunch of fried chicken. Uh, okay, let's thread... Well, on the other shore isn't that much better, but... Oh, well, the other shore actually sucks, too. Alright. We'll see what we can do to sneak through here. Come on. Alright, run, run, run. Hey, I'm just passing through, buddy. Right. Just passing through. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to talk to you in a second, okay? I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? Uh, ooh, skin reptiles is uh, very uh, <laughs> is very applicable right now. What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Lizards' claws are especially useful. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. And I don't think I have enough ore for that, but thank you very much, kind sir. Uh... <laughs> He's just waiting there. It's like it's, he knows he can't follow us here in the safe zone. Come on. Aha. Ooh, that's 60 ore right there. All right, now we're in business. We, uh... We can start selling that stuff now, and kind of become a little self-sufficient, which is what I want. I generally like characters that can be as self-sufficient as possible. Uh, what's going on in here, guys? A skeleton? That mean they're danger about? Actually, there's nothing in here. This looks almost like a paved concrete road, but, uh, it's a little weird. Uh, but yeah, just a skeleton. I guess some dude just decided to die in there instead of out here. Blueberries that are red. Whee! That was dangerous. <laughs> uh... Okay, he doesn't seem to be mining. Oh yeah, he he doesn't care. We'll just there. Now we have. We're gonna use Fallout logic. Line of sight is blocked, therefore he can't see us. There we go. Give me the meat bugs. There we go. Hey, killer, what's up? Can you? 
you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? Let's see, does he have... Oh, he's got sneaking and bow. Both of which take more points than we have. That's fine. But now... Uh... We're gonna eat some blueberries here. There we go. Now I think maybe we just go hunting for a little bit, build up. Because we have... As long as we don't hunt anything with fur, we still need the ore for that. But, uh... Anything else should be fair game. Because we know how to harvest just about everything except the, uh... Our skeleton here. Beware of danger. No harvest just about everything except maybe the mine crawlers. And then, obviously, wolves and stuff will be able to take their fur later. I think those were the velociraptors that killed me, what, two episodes ago now? One or two? Hiding down that path. Or, down that path. Maybe this path. We can, uh, we can make it. All right, yeah, here we go. And with this, we should be able to get to the old camp. All right. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Any creatures out here? Maybe over there. There we go. I hear you guys have claws. There we go. No damage that time either, so... Oh, they do not have claws worth taking, apparently. A little disappointing, but... At least now I wasn't... I know I wasn't, like, wasting... <laughs> stuff by killing them when I, uh... Before I knew how to harvest them. Alright, uh, let's see what else is here. Looks like they should have, like, a moat here. <laughs> it's just this ditch dug around the entire old camp, but it's not filled with anything. Oh, these look like some critters that maybe I killed before. No, it's just a plant. Okay. <laughs> that looks spiky. Does it hurt when I go into it? No? Okay. Never hurts to check. Alright, we got another cave here. Is this the one where I found the dude's body? Maybe. Nothing much happening in this cave. Perhaps another time. Alright, we should be able to just walk right in, because we're still on friendly-ish terms with everyone here. There, we got that lovely old camp music. Alright, let's see. Where's the merchant? Where's the merchant? I doubt that's ever Were you a merchant? Yeah. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. I got the best stuff here. Alright. Uh, Tumblr. I don't think that's useful to us, so I'll just sell that for now. Sell that. I don't think we can do anything with a jug. The loot we'll keep just because that might be a quest item. Keep those for now. Uh, what do we got? We got extract of healing, essence, or sorry, essence of healing, extract of healing, and essence of magic. Uh, as far as food goes, yeah, we definitely want to keep the gear. The rice schnapps we might be able to we'll keep the wine, too. Never know. Um, 
we'll keep one pickaxe for mining purposes, but we shouldn't need the other. The club is worthless to us. And again, the arrows. Uh, it's probably, I imagine it's probably, this is the type of game where it's not a good idea to divide between two weapon skills, so I'm just, as much as I like to play with both a bow and a sword in Skyrim, I think we're just going to sell these arrows. Okay, so now we should be able to get some, uh, some ore in there. There we go. So now we have enough to get that last skill. But there is one more thing I want to do in the old camp since we're here. Because I think there was like a smithy here. And he's like, oh, you can make your own sword. So I want to see if that sword, it's like, what, 50 ore for the materials? Excuse me. And I want to see if that sword is better than the sword we bought from the, um, the new camp. Or the swamp camp, rather. Because if it is, then obviously we're going to switch to that and sell our old one. And if it's not, well, maybe we can still sell it for a profit. We'll see. Alright, I gotta learn to stop doing that before I glitch through something else. Uh, I just gotta remember where the smith quarters were. Did I pass them already? I this might be it. Nope. Is it next to the arena? I remember it was like a, in a hut or something. I thought, here it is. Uh, I think I talked to you. Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something and don't get on my nerves. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I can sell them to you. Okay. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. So I guess what well, we got glowing blade, raw steel, glowing steel blade. We'll try one, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that uh, works out for us. And of course, everyone else is. But I, I, I use these. <laughs> Should have just taken the glowing blade. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we have a glowing blade. Did not mean to do that. Come on. I suppose I can check in my inventory what it is. Uh, yeah, we have a glowing plate now. Well, I can't use it anymore, so maybe we did what we needed to do. There we go. Now we have a blade. 
we just need to sharpen it on the grindstone. So we'll let him go through his animation. Sorry, dude, you don't have a name, so you're not important. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait here until I'm done. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, okay, so it's the same thing we ended up buying, but we can sell it for 100 or when we only bought it for 40 So that's another great way to make money, it seems. A little bit of time, but... And uh, it's not infinite. He only has a limited amount of raw steel. But... And you know what? Actually, I have no idea which is the one we made. <laughs> but... Maybe we sell both of them and get ourselves just a better blade, period. We'll see what the uh, merchant has in store for us. Hey, Mud. Some people think I'm a complete lunatic. But somebody like you would never hang out with a lunatic. People would talk about that, so they'll finally understand that they were wrong about me. That's nice. Oh, hey. Uh, can I get some soup? You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here. Take three portions. Thank you, kind sir. All right, so let's go and find the merchants. It might have been actually faster to just go the other way, but... <laughs> but then we... Uh, we should finally be getting enough to actually move forward. <laughs> and that, like, you know start being able to buy upgrades for our gear and stuff, assuming we can't... I'm getting the sense we aren't going to find a lot of our stuff, unfortunately. Because um, that's really been the case. Like, you find a few low-level weapons, but everything higher than that, like armor, for instance, especially armor, seems like something you have to buy. Uh, hey, Fisk. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. So, wooden spoon tumbler. There must yeah. be something about that story after all. Ooh, we can buy some picklocks. And the axe one-handed weapon, but doesn't do. It has to do probably a max of 20 strength, but it would need more than 20 damage. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Hang on, Let's not go rushing into anything. Obvious that there would be trouble ahead. Bigger is discipline. Required strength 10. That's arguably. That's probably better than what we have because it does the same damage but with half the required strength. Okay, how much ore would I have to hand over? 60. I don't have enough for that. You shouldn't believe everything. Short sword. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. So we might just have like the best weapon we can get for a while. Uh, I do want to buy some of the stuff back that we sold them. And probably another. Lockpick, and then I'll give him. Rely on somebody, and you're in trouble. I'll sell him the other crude sword too. We'll take five lockpicks, and then the more ore. There we go. Rely on somebody, and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. So, now we'll just go and build another sword for ourselves. Um, let's see if it's faster this way. You're my best friend here. The others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. Oh, well, thanks, bud. 
But uh, we can check with the other merchant too and see if he's got uh, if he has anything, any weapons. And then there's obviously merchants in the other camps too. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, must have passed him already. All right, let's go up the ladder. Eee. Yeah, okay, this was definitely faster. All right. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Uh Ooh, we could actually all oh, the torch is worthless. Um uh, shit. Can we give them I know I bought some of that meat back, but I might uh We got lots of mushrooms. So have some mushrooms. And then take all of our ore. And and we should be able to um, at least now we'll have ore left over. Let's let's see. We're paying thirty ore and we'll sell it for fifty. So yeah, we'll we'll make a bit of a profit there. There we go. Alright. We will heat up the blade. And we'll heat up the other blade. I like how we just put these flaming hot blades in our pockets. But, ah. It is what it is, I guess. There we go. Do the other one real quick. All right, and now there we go. I just want to check something. Yeah. Hey, no, no. Hey, how's it going? There we go. Not quite on the uh, grindstone there. But, you know, close enough. Here we go, we should have... Oh. There we go. We'll equip the one and sell the other. Oh, 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 okay. I saw the ladder. I thought I was about to jump off a cliff there. Alright, how much raw meat do I have? Ten. Uh, may as well grill our meat, too. One. Two. So tedious, but I bet it tastes good. <laughs> bet it tastes good. Or at least I hope it tastes good. But let's see. We should be able to basically go out hunting now and make a profit whenever we hunt. So that'll be good. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get a weapon upgrade. We might have to go to another camp for that. But we're getting to a good place, and we gotta check. Once I'm done grilling all the meat here, I'll check uh, our skill points because we might be almost to 
to the next level, which would further up our damage. I think if we can up our damage and get perhaps get more training in one-handed and if we can get a better weapon I think those combined would let us take on that damn marker and if we can do that that would get us in real good with the new camp all right and okay we get about 700 experience points to go which isn't the worst considering we get what 54 killing most wild animals so probably just have to you know three six nine twelve five groups kill five groups of animals Show me assuming goods. they come in three i got the best stuff here all right there we go oh yeah i could sell all my all the weed to him There we go, and we have we have a bunch of lockpicks too, so we can start doing uh, more nefarious things too, uh, should we so desire. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. For now, I think we're just gonna head out the front gate and uh, maybe do some little hunting, and that'll probably draw the episode to a close then. But uh, I think we'll be in a good position for future episodes. I'm gonna run through your hut, little boy. Don't at me. Oh wait, here's this the next one. <laughs> hey, yeah, I Dion. learned you didn't want to pay protection money to Bloodwin. What do you want? To warn you, Bloodwin paid some people. They're gonna do you in. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there, and God knows who else he hired. Your warning about Herrick is a bit late. He must have talked to somebody else as well. That much I know. So do take care. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, I think he's the guy we beat up and spared because he was the first guy who. Uh... How often have I told you back? What's your problem? Oh, Leave God. me alone. It all stoned, but none of when I. I didn't ask. Me, I mean, I guess I did kind of ask for your life story, but I didn't mean to ask for your life story. All right, I think we'll be able to run through without any trouble. Eventually we'll give Bloodwind what for. Show him we don't need his protection. But unfortunately that's going to be a little bit in the future yet. Especially since he has armor. Most everyone else hasn't ha that we fought has not had armor. Are you guys still going to be a problem? Hmm. I guess not. Man, that three on one sure was something. But uh, I think if we go up from here, that's where those other hunters are working in. So those should be some good hunting grounds. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because I want to see if the uh, the dino vultures, the uh, the scavengers. All right, I feel enough to take on. If we can lure in one, and I think we, we're doing that now. There we go. Ooh, 70 experience. All right. Uh, yeah, so those guys... We can take on in a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe two-on-one, -on -one, I think, would be tough. But one-on-ones, I can definitely feel more comfortable in now. There we go. How the air? Don't just ignore me. Oh, come on. There we go. And assuming their wings don't end up being needed for a quest, we're going to be in a... That's going to be a, quite the pot of money we're sitting on there. Okay, we got some mole rats up here. We 
should be able to take these guys out, no problem. Alright, lunge. Lock onto the new one. Oh, he's still alive! Alright. Just meat from these guys, but that's fine. Oh, and we got some scavengers, so let me... Drink some meat bug ragout. There we go. And we can pick up all these plants. Is that okay? That's not a root we can pick up. Maybe I'll just eat a uh, little bit of slave spread here. Up oh, that actually that was probably the wrong one to choose. Oh well. Ah! Ooh, wow, they went. I think those guys were almost going down one hit. Alright, the scavengers do not give us claws that we can use, unfortunately. I was really hoping they would. Or teeth or something. Still, we're getting some good experience and just kind of cleaning up areas so we can, uh,. Leave him for now because I want to harvest him for his fur. Let's see if maybe if we can beat like well, something's around us. I want to find another one of those lizard things as if those are. I don't, er, well, no, we already found one and we couldn't skin it, right? So, unfortunately, we have to find a different lizard for that. But, it would be nice if we could get some skins. Too bad you can't craft your own armor off of, like, animal hides or something. That would be... Ooh. No! Fuck. <laughs> Okay, is that it? Uh, you're not eating me, so that's kind of like a promising sign, right? Are we just knocked out, or are we actually dead? It's most of the time they go in and they eat us, but... <laughs> Alright. I think we're just gonna have to. It's, yeah, it's not letting us save or continue, so. Alright, where did I save? Oh, oh my god, back here. Mm. <sighs> Alright, so I think I'm going to cut the recording here. And I'm just going to redo everything that I just did. But, um, I think that's going to be kind of the game plan. So when we come back, I'll be in the old city. We'll have all the meat cooked. We'll have our lockpicks. We'll have, uh, oh, someone just died probably. Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll have our, our sword that we built ourselves as our weapon. Um, actually I might do a couple of swords, but... We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get our hunter training again, and um, I think at that point we'll uh, we will continue on our journey. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.